Hello everyone, Christian here. 2023 is around the corner. I want to give you the must have Shopify apps for 2023. The apps I'm talking about each cover a specific area of your business and we have hand selected them to give you the most bang for your buck and stick around to the end because we have one app that we haven't really talked about before. Let's get started. Now, as you know, we've done a few videos on apps that you should have on your Shopify store, but this one's a little different. I have eight apps for you. I made sure to select these apps that bring a set of features that will help you either sell your products easier or you have better data or having just better speed, better user experience overall. Um, from communication apps to user generated apps to SEO. Um, and like I said, stick around to the end because we have a TikTok app actually. Uh, that's pretty cool. So starting at number eight is Shopify Inbox. Now Shopify Inbox is a chat, essentially, a chat feature that Shopify has created um, so that customers can come in your store and just talk directly to you um, without having to necessarily send emails or anything like that. Now, having this sort of chat feature within your store is very important because if customers have any sort of question whatsoever, they have the ability to just click on the chat button and get in communication with you or someone from your team. Now, something cool about this is that you can also do just like with a lot of different uh, tools out there that do chat, um, when you click on start chat with us, um, you also have instant answers. So if you have sort of the FAQ, like the frequently asked questions, you can definitely include them right within here so that it's just a little bit easier for the customer and they don't have to necessarily type anything. Um, they're just right within here. It's like, how can I, um, what, is um, what should I do after I add inbox? That's kind of cool. And these are automated responses, right? Based on, on those questions. So they still kind of get that chat feel even after they click on something. So it's not like they're being taken to someone page on your website uh, with the information. They're still sort of getting that chat messaging back and forth. And as you can see right within here, you can still go ahead and say, I still need assistance. So maybe that article uh, wasn't good enough. You can still go ahead and do that. Um, like I said, this is, a great way for customers to be able to contact you. Now, the apps that we're recommending here, obviously there's gonna be alternatives out there, right? And you may be using something different um, for a chat feature. So with all of these, just remember that um, there's definitely alternative to all these. I'm trying to go either the cheaper route or um, if there's an opportunity to have a, a free app, then I'm gonna go ahead and, and suggest that one. Um, obviously, if I do think that there's something out there that will be a little bit better, um, then I'll try to suggest that. But um, like I said, having a chat feature um, is gonna be essential. So Shopify Inbox just takes care of that for you. Um, and this is one of those that obviously it's 100% free. So um, go ahead and, and get started with this one. Something else that I didn't talk about here, um, but they do mention it uh, right within these images. You can also manage all your messages in one place. So you can actually connect Facebook, Instagram, etc. And when people message you or DM you on Instagram, it will come here to the Shopify inbox. So you only have like that one place. Um, and again, this is one of those features that I believe almost every uh, chat app out there um, sort of has. So, uh, but I think Shopify has stepped up their game, right? By providing something like this. Again, you can't beat free. So that's why I do recommend this uh, quite often. All right, coming on number seven is Wishlist Plus. Now, when it comes to having a wish list on, on your store. Um, I, be, I do believe that the sort of first entry for someone to, uh, maybe they're not ready to necessarily purchase right away, um, but they want to at least save some things, right? Maybe they're window shopping and they wanna have something where they can just sort of save all their stuff and say like, hey, I have this stuff, this stuff is mine. Not yet, but it's still mine, right? Um, and that's just giving your customers a sort of sense of ownership, right? Um, with things that they actually do like from your store. So providing a functionality of wish list, uh, to me, I think is absolutely crucial because if they're not ready to purchase, I think this is the next best thing that you can do for your customers. Again, there's a lot of wish list apps out there. I do believe this is probably one of the best ones. Um, so wish list plus by Swim Corporation. Um, they do have a free plan available, uh, which is kind of nice. So um, it does give you up to a hundred wish list items per month. So, and then up to 5,000 sessions per month. Um, this is gonna be free forever. So this is gonna be very, very beneficial for you. Again, if you're just starting out and you need something in place, this free account is gonna be amazing, right? You're gonna be very easily, you can connect it 
put it all together um, and, and start seeing what, what some of your customers are adding to wishlist. That's also another, another great thing about wishlist is that it does give you some insight, right, into what your customers are actually liking or disliking. Obviously, like it has the, uh, the rest of the pricing in here, starter pro and premium. Um, and then with those obviously comes a little bit better uh, support, um, better integrations, um, etc. So take that into consideration as well when you're selecting any of these apps. It's also looking at like, okay, if in three months I'm gonna be here and then 10 months from now I'm gonna be here, um, this is what I'm gonna be sort of spending on a monthly basis. So that's also gonna be important uh, moving forward in the future. Let me show you how this looks here. So there's quite a few demos in here. So I'm gonna go open up this one, for example. So this one is the ability to add to wishlist right from the collection page. So you may have seen this on other sites where you say that little heart in here. So you can actually click on that little heart and create your, your new wishlist. Um, you can also have multiple wish lists right within here. So maybe you have like a Christmas wish list, maybe you have a birthday wish list, whatever it may be. Um, and you can just click on add to list. Now, some of the other things they had in here, um, you can also do it on your product detail page. So I'm gonna open that one in here. And as you can see, this has the add to wish list right within here. So it has the add to cart, buy it now, and then add to wish list. And then same functionality, it opens that little pop-up. You have the ability to do the multiple list and just add it to, to your list. Um, and then I believe if I click here on wish list, I should put, yeah, should be able to see my wish list categories. I can see the list in here. Now, so other features within the paid version too. Um, if you have any of these items go on sale, for example, you can set up automations so that um, any customer that has this particular product that you're putting on sale, it will send out an email saying like, hey, the product that you have on your wish list list, it's on sale. Um, go, come ahead and, and purchase. So there's a lot of cool features that come with a wish list um, besides the data. So uh, again, I would highly, highly suggest to do something like Wishlist Plus by Swim Corporation. I just kind of showed you just a couple of features here, uh, but there's definitely um, a lot more to explore. Now, before we move on to the next one, I just want to say bienvenidos. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Vibranding. We're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. We drop new videos every week, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Coming in at number six, it's Stamped Product Reviews and UGC. I think reviews and social proof is absolutely crucial for any store out there because I don't think a lot of people would purchase from someone who hasn't um, sort of proven to the to the market, right? That their products are good and that there's people buying them and there's some sort of reviews out there, right? Some of the first things that you do when you go to Amazon is you click on the reviews, you just scroll down there, you click on the pictures, the people who are actually sharing pictures of the reviews. Um, all that stuff is gonna be very, very important. So having some sort of product review app on your store is gonna be absolutely crucial. Look, if you're, it's kind of like a fake it till you make it, right? You, even at the very beginning, you don't have an app, still include some reviews, some things that maybe your friends and family have said about your products um, and just having sort of a, a, a gener generic, right? Section within your website. And I think it's that important that even if you're starting out, just grab some reviews from friends and family um, because it's gonna be absolutely, absolutely crucial. Now, moving on to that next step, right? After having friends and family review some of your products, um, is getting something like stamped product reviews and UGC. The reason why I selected this app in particular um, is because of that UGC component um, right within here. And also as with all these apps, um, this one does have a free version. So you can do up to 50, yeah, 50 orders per month. You can display up to 10 plus widgets. Um, so you have the ratings and reviews, social sharing, rich snippets and commenting. A lot of these apps will have an depending on where you're at at the stage on, on your business, you may fall into the basic or premium or even the business. I do want to um, basically for all these apps have some sort of free version uh, to them. Now let's go ahead and look at the demo store here. Um, as you can see, we have the product reviews, top rated products. Um, so it kind of shows you the star rating, how many reviews it actually has. So this will be maybe for a homepage, for example, you can sort of um, show them some of your top rated products. Um, and it looks like you can also do a different view. So product reviews right within here. The cool thing about that is that it also takes you back to those products. So you can actually read the review, click on the product and it'll take you back there. And this is the part of the UGC right within here. Um, so you can see the, uh, the Instagram links are right within here. 
Uh, the great thing about this is that you can also, again, tag products. So for every sort of review that you can select or have displayed on your store, you can always tag your products with it so that customers will be able to read the review. And for that particular review for that product, you can actually click on it and check out that product. Now, when it comes to the actual product page, this looks kind of ridiculous as far as a, a how a product page should look. But um, right within here, we have the, the ability to do sort of a highlighted review, uh, which is kind of nice. So you can see right over here, um, obviously you can have the star rating right next to the title of the product, which is probably a, a good recommendation. Um, and then right underneath that, you have the actual product reviews. Cool thing about this is you can actually search within reviews, you can filter reviews, um, you also have the ability to do questions right within here. So customers can actually ask questions. You can answer them. Um, again, this is like some of the same features that you would see on something like Amazon, um, where you have the question and answer, and then you also have reviews. And then obviously with any of these product reviews and UGC apps out there, you do have the ability to sort of moderate and make sure that some of the better reviews are actually being pushed forward. Um, so just want to, mention that uh, because with the I think Shopify has a product review app um, I don't know if it has that ability for you to sort of um, moderate those reviews or automatically say like reviews with this many stars you can automatically um, let through so um, that's going to be very important for uh, obviously uh, for your store to make sure that it looks good uh, in the eyes of new customers that are coming in so yeah with stand product reviews you have a lot of different things that you can do with it um, i just kind of again just scratched the surface and showed you just a few things um, that you can display right within your store um, but they have a lot so um, again it's one of those apps that it's, it's a sort of all-encompassing uh, type app coming at number five coming in hot actually uh, this is not an app that you will find in the app store but when it comes to your website numbers tell you what's actually happening but hot jars visual insights tell you why imagine being able to see recordings of how your customers are using your website where they're clicking how far they're scrolling and visually see where they're getting stuck potentially getting stuck with Hotjar, you can easily uncover opportunities for optimization, spot problems with your customer experience, prioritize changes that actually matter, and easily convince the team because you have all the hard data with you. You can actually visually show them this is where customers are getting stuck. Hotjar is a critical tool to understand your users and identify any pain points. With this app, like I said, it's not in the app store, but you can check out the link in the description below uh, so you can get started today. Obviously, Hotjar is one of those that we definitely recommend to everyone. And we've seen a lot of really cool things for some of our stores and things that we've been able to fix because of Hotjar, because of uh, the ability for us to see how the customers are actually interacting with the website. We've actually been able to get rid of apps because we've noticed that they're not even touching it. So again, Hotjar is one of those that it's not in the app store, but it's super, super important. Coming in at number four is Shopify Flow. Shopify Flow is awesome. Shopify Flow allows you to automate almost everything and essentially get back to business, right? So you can increase your workflow by setting up some automations. Um, I'm not gonna go super in depth with this one. Uh, I will tell you that it is free to install. And the great thing about it is that you can connect not just things that happen within Shopify, but you can connect other apps. So imagine being able to connect your reviews app or your wish list app or your inbox, some of them the ones that we've been talked about. So the great thing about it is like, again, it's free. You set up your own workflows. It does have some, um, some templates for you to sort of get started with this. And if you're super interested about the ability to do these automations, think about Zapier, but for Shopify, then you definitely want to check out this video right here um, where we talked about all about Shopify flow, some of the best automations that you can get started with today. And I'll tell you what, one of those automations is to automatically hide sold out products. This is something that people have added different apps on, on their stores to try to get to automatically turn off products or they have to like manually go in and like hide products or turn off products that have been sold out. With Shopify Flow, you can just automatically, by click of a button, um, tell 
we even specify different rules, right? On how to turn off your sold out products. So check out that video um, because it's really, really powerful. Coming in at number three is Booster SEO and Image Optimizer. Um, I think everyone wants a fast website and a lot of people do talk about SEO and what you can do organically. This is the app that you definitely want to have uh, installed in your store. This is sort of a, one of those all in one where uh, you can set up a lot of different things on autopilot and at least get that sort of uh, relief, right? That you're doing something towards SEO, that you're doing toward something towards your images, etc. With this, you can actually save a lot of, a lot of time um, and they also follow uh, Google's best practices. So it's gonna be uh, sort of always up to date in terms of anything that changes within Google, um, they'll be on top of it to make sure that you're actually using some of those best practices. Just like the other apps, this does have a free version of it where you can do the alt text, you can do unlimited image sync quota, you can do new images checked once per week, and then you can also, unlike other apps, the free plan will always stay free. Awesome. So um, now besides that, obviously they have the 39 and the 69 uh, products, which just comes with a lot more features and different things. But um, again, this is one of those apps that I highly, highly recommend for everyone to have on their store um, to make sure that they're optimizing their SEO, make sure that they're optimizing their images, which is very, very important. Hey, if you like the apps that you've seen so far, please consider clicking on that like button. Now coming in at number two is upsell and cross sell. Sell easy by Logbase. Could they have a longer name? I don't know. <laughs> now, uh, with all these upsell apps, they're, they're kind of weird in the sense that they, they're, I think they're just doing it for SEO and people who are searching upsell, cross-sell. Um, so their names are always like just the name of whatever you're searching. So upsell, cross-sell is the name of the app. Now, this is actually one of the, I think best apps out there for upsell, cross-sell. I know in the past we've um, suggested something like one-click upsell. With a one-click upsell, I think the downfall is that you can't necessarily let it automatically select products for you. So um, with this one, it does use AI to automatically select products based on past purchases, based on data that's collecting from what your customers are navigating through on, on, their, on your site. With upsell cross sell, I'm gonna click on the view demo so you can see some of their features in here. Um, right within the product page, you can do a fruit and they bought together and actually, offer some sort of discount right within here. You could also do product add-ons. So let's say you're selling this bike, um, you have the helmet and the floor pump and the gloves that you can just by the click of a button, just add them to cart that way. We also have the upsell funnel pop-up. After I add to cart and I go to checkout. So I guess after you click checkout, then the upsell will show up right within here. So it doesn't sort of let you go through the checkout until you offer them at least something. Now you also have thank you page add-ons. You have checkout post-purchase upsells. So even imagine after adding to cart, after paying for my order, there's still like another opportunity for you to upsell them um, on the uh, thank you page essentially. The amount of features that it has or the amount of places um, with this app is amazing. And that's one of the reasons why I selected it. So you can do the frequently bought together, product add-ons, cart page upsells, post-purchase upsells. Um, obviously it's automatic. So you, you can actually select certain items um, for each of these steps, um, but you can also set it as an automatic thing. Obviously they have a free tier. So with this free tier, you can do from zero to a hundred orders per month and still be under that free tier. Now the next one's come to $7 and then $13. Um, and it depends on the amount of orders uh, that you're having uh, per month. Let me show you, I guess, some examples why everything here. I know we kind of navigated through the bicycle shop, but you can see, uh, obviously you can select colors and change different things um, on the settings. But I think it's very, very powerful. The fact that you can do it on multiple places all throughout your website. This is how the thank you page add-ons will look like. So as you can see, they've already submitted their order, but you still have that extra opportunity to um, do that for them. And coming in at number one, the app that I was talking about earlier is called Tick Shop. It's an Instagram and TikTok feed. So again, going back to the reviews and the user generated content um, with TechShop, you have the ability to connect both Instagram and TikTok feeds all in one feed. Um, it actually looks really nice. Um, let me click on the demo store. So you can see here the shop, shoppable social feeds. Um, you'll see that 
This one is actually an Instagram one. This is actually a TikTok. I think this one is a TikTok. So as you can see, they're combined right within here. So when you click on this one, um, the great thing about this too is, uh, just as the other user-generated app, you have the ability to um, add your products to it. So you can actually click on Shop to Look and go to actual products that may be in these videos or um, Instagram pictures or videos as well. So you can see this one is from, from Instagram, all within the same feed. You can click on Shop to Look and get to the orange tea. You can even add to cart uh, right within here. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. Let's go into the dedicated page. Okay, so it's just like basically the same thing. The product page, you can actually show some of that custom content um, right within here. So you can see the Instagram one here and then the TikToks. Uh, now when you click on them, it'll take you to that sort of gallery again. So you'll be able to see everything. The customer will be able to scroll through. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, it's probably one of the cleanest apps that I've seen when it comes to uh, the feeds and the fact that they combine both Instagram and TikTok, um, that's really powerful. I mean, you may have some influencers um, or some, uh, some just random customers, right? creating TikToks or creating Instagrams and for you to have them both combine into one section on your product page, that's gonna be super, super powerful. With TikShop, um, it is sort of a newer app. Um, and like I said, all of these have a free account. So this one does have a free version of it where you can create the live feed uh, with TikTok and Instagram. Um, you can display up to eight posts per feed. Obviously then it goes to $10 and then $30 for more features, more product categories, more things. This is gonna be a very, very powerful one. This is in combination with the reviews, uh, in combination with the SEO, the image optimizations, the upsells, the wish list, the inbox. Um, this is gonna make your store uh, convert a lot higher. You're gonna have a higher average order value. Um, and overall, you're gonna have happier customers um, because they'll be able to find what they're looking for. They'll be able to, you'll be able to answer questions. They'll be able to add things to their wish list. They'll be able to see reviews um, in the back end. You'll have Shopify flow automating things for you. Um, you'll also be, uh, have the ability to upsell and cross sell them uh, right within your store. And they'll be able to see Instagrams and TikToks of some of your products being worn by influencers and other customers. Those are our top eight apps that I think every clothing store needs to have in 2023. Um, and like I said, it doesn't have to be the exact same app, but if you don't like this exact same app, then find an alternative for it um, because these features are gonna be very, very important um, navigating 2023. We'll see you on the next one.